Another three and possibly more delays made by the FAA in regards to releasing the Environmental Assessment, or the PEA, of Starbase has frustrated many people. And most recently, a group of 14 space advocacy organizations published a joint statement urging rapid U.S. government approval of SpaceX's Starship test flights. Texas leaders also stepped in, pressing the FAA to approve quickly for SpaceX. In spite of all this, will the FAA let everything go according to plan this time, or will there be another delay? Welcome back to Great SpaceX. There's been a lot going on in the space industry lately, so let's dive right in. The FAA has been working on a PEA of Starbase for months now. The agency published a draft PEA in mid-September, estimating at the time that the final report would be done by the end of the year. But of course, that didn't happen. The FAA pushed the completion date back to February 14th, citing the need to consult further with other agencies and analyze the thousands of public comments submitted in response to the draft PEA. The target date slipped again to March 28th for similar reasons, and the FAA announced on March 25th that the same factors have pushed the target date to the right yet again to April 29th. Three cancellations. Well, we're starting to wonder if there's going to be one more time at the end of April. All of this begs another question. Is SpaceX still based in Texas? Elon Musk's recent updates on the progress of SpaceX's Starship launch system has revealed some related information. However, he didn't provide much in the way of technical views. Instead, the billionaire's presentation did seem to have had its intended political effect. Musk was clear that if the FAA doesn't come through with approval to conduct launches from its Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas, SpaceX will move operations to NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. In other words, this is really a warning. This warning seems to really work as afterward many put pressure on the FAA to quickly release the final PEA. And most recently, space organizations united to strongly urge the FAA and other federal agencies to provide full approval to SpaceX to begin orbital test flights of the Starship at the earliest possible date. This statement was approved by 14 space advocacy organizations, including the Mars Society, National Space Society, Earth Life Foundation, Alliance for Space Development, Space Development Foundation, Space Development Network, the Moon Society, the Mars Foundation, Space for Humanity, Tea Party in Space, For All Moonkind, the Coalition to Save Manned Space Exploration, the Space Resources Roundtable, the Space Development Steering Committee. The given reason was that extraordinary potential benefits for the exploration and development of space by both the public and private sectors were offered by SpaceX's Starship. Not only that, but SpaceX's Starship also helps the U.S. maintain its position of space dominance, propelling American space leadership far ahead of any global competitors. Commenting on the initiative, Mars Society President Dr. Robert Zubrin said, the organizations that have come together to make this statement represent every point of view within the space community. Whether one's priority is settling Mars, developing space commerce, exploring the moon, assuring national security, or gaining new knowledge of the Earth, the planets, or the universe, we all agree that it is vital that this program be allowed to move forward. There may be many more hurdles like this that SpaceX and others seeking to open the space frontier will face. But this statement shows that the often fractured movement of space advocates can come together to help when it really counts. Having said that, Dr. Zubrin and his companions did a wonderful and meaningful act. On behalf of SpaceX lovers, send him and his companions the best and sincerest of thanks. However, it's not just space organizations, but Texas leaders as well that are also hoping SpaceX can quickly launch the tall and most powerful rocket in the world. Of course, they did that due to different goals. The secluded beachside community of Boca Chica Village was once a haven for retirees, snowbirds, and outdoorsy people who enjoyed dirt biking, fishing, or lounging near the water. But it changed dramatically due to the arrival of SpaceX. The village became more crowded with thousands of people coming to live, work, and travel. 
This change is still happening day by day, even at an even more terrifying speed as SpaceX CEO Elon Musk stated that he wanted to create a city encompassing Boca Chica Village and the surrounding area last March. An established starbase in Texas has completely changed the face of the state. And that's why Texas leaders want the FAA to quickly approve the PEA of Starbase, because if not, Musk and his company will leave. Sergio Tito Lopez, chairman of the Brownsville Navigation District that runs the city's port, told the Rio Grande Guardian that he had been in communications with the region's two congressmen, Representatives Filamen Vela and Vicente Gonzalez, about how to pressure the FAA to grant environmental approval for the Boca Chica site so SpaceX doesn't up and leave. We hope that does not happen, Lopez said when asked if he was concerned that SpaceX's rocket testing site could be moved from Boca Chica to Florida. When asked if the BND Board of Commissioners had made its position known to Representatives Vela and Gonzalez, Lopez said, Actually right now, we are in talks with both of them. We want them to help. It is a huge economic impact, having SpaceX here. It makes the Rio Grande Valley and, in this case, Brownsville, more lucrative. It gives global attention to our city, which is something we have needed for a long, long time. Another BND commissioner, Ralph Cohen, said he believes the FAA will give environmental clearance to SpaceX for its Boca Chica operations. In an interview, Cohen said the BND commissioners have not only spoken to representatives Vela and Gonzalez, but also their colleague, Congressman Henry Kuehler. I think we will get the environmental clearance, Cohen said. I was out there at Starbase a couple of weeks ago. Elon Musk invited us to come our commission and other entities. He gave an update. I feel we are going to get it. Musk has got the governor behind him. He has got all the people that are decision makers and have the power and the stroke behind him. That is how it gets done. Cohen added, in his opinion, Boca Chica offers the best geographical location in the United States from which to launch rockets. After all this, we have more confidence that Starbase can still be the takeoff location for Starship as it was originally intended. But all still depends on the FAA. Hopefully, under all of this pressure, the agency will actually get to work completing what they should have done months before rather than wasting what time they have looking for another excuse to justify their sluggishness. While pending the FAA's approval, SpaceX has begun transporting an upgraded Super Heavy Booster 7 as well as the first Raptor 2 engines to its South Texas launch facilities. Based on the road closure's schedule, SpaceX can begin testing Booster 7 as early as next week, when opportunities are available on April 4th and the 5th. That's all for today. Which part did you like the most? Every comment and share helps us grow. Thanks a lot. If you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. And as a quick note, if you have advertising needs, you can contact us directly via email. Thank you for watching.